This is funny to me. Right here, I can go like this. There, now I can actually see. You just stop talking now. You told me I had to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> For 10 seconds. Yeah, and then you said you hadn't started counting. I was determined to prove to you that I could do it. Oh, see, everyone thinks I'm playing Mario Kart 8. Fuck! Why didn't I change the name of the... Shit! Shit! Oh my ah, god! Ah, what the... Ugh. I just want to play my you game. Suck. Here, here, we're going to go to Twitter right now. And you got to look at this picture that Rose made. What? Oh my god, what? Now you're all... Shut up. Whiner. I just want it to be not dark outside. <laughs> oh my god, how do I get to the full... I don't know! <laughs> god! How do, uh, now I gotta find this shit on the stupid... How do, I, no, wait, no, it's here. There. You're so dumb. You, you, have to des you have to describe what this is. What is this? What? <laughs> what? What? What's happening? <laughs> John, sweet ass. What is that? <laughs> is it a car or Cthulhu? <laughs> Best Buy is the devil or something. I, it's like a monster with, <laughs> that's sucking penises. Oh, it's sucking dicks. <laughs> okay, and it makes babies cry because Best Buy sucks dicks. Hey, you're getting it. Well, babies cry all the time anyway because they're annoying as shit. It came up. Oh, wait, no, that's not how you want. Shut up. Then what the fuck is happening with your face? <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really, really pissed off that day. I and, yes, I remember. And I asked uh, what junk food I should gorge myself on to suppress the rages. So I uh, I tweeted, you know, motherfucking boba, bitch. <laughs> Hashtag pink straw. <laughs> oh, yeah, yo. <laughs> and uh, so they took that. And then somewhere in the chat, uh, what car I drive came up. Like, oh, what, what car does Sean drive? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm curious. And uh, someone, I believe it was Metricos, every, everybody knowing how pissed I was that day, yes. said, Sean drives a black cloud that runs on broken dreams and the tears of children <laughs> and is powered by the energy created by Best Buy sucking dicks. <laughs> and they took the rage picture of me earlier with my hard-ass... Boba tea and my pink straw. So that's that's you in the driver's seat of, of your black, of my black cloud, cloud that feeds on the energy created from Best Buy sucking dicks. Yeah. And baby's tears. And I, I said, oh, I wish I could draw because I would make a picture like this. Rose was all worried, like, oh, I hope you like it. I'm like, no, this is exactly the quality I expected <laughs> when I had it in that's, my mind. That's perfect. A pretty good description of your sweet ass I... ride too. It's a, definitely a description of my old car. <laughs> it, it ran on tears, all right. I bet it did. What is all this bullshit? On my... Look, listen to my fucking laptop now. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like Sean wants to get sponsored by Best Buy. <laughs> I know, Axel and Casey. I'm sorry. I keep. I tried to change, after the fucking day I had yesterday, I tried to change this title, like, no less than ten times. On two different computers, <laughs> on like, so four weird. different browsers, and it just would not, I just, I don't wait, care. Wait, I can't just edit it from here? Edit what? Well, you can try, I don't know if it'll update, though. Playing. God. Of. It should be. like that that was my demon voice you gotta think of a cool title though wait i got this remember it though because it's not gonna it's not gonna take <laughs> Stop 
a bitch. <laughs> Get the pink control. Ah, fuck this guy. Done. Sarah totally did it. You're so dumb. No, uh, t uh, ask ask, ask chat what it. that title is. Ask chat if anything changed. Chat, did it change? What is? <laughs> Does the dashboard not work? Never heard of anyone having that problem. God, this thing is so hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of crap. Your face is a piece of crap. Just. What, uh, just bring a box inside for me, and I'll shut I'm up. not going back to the fucking garage. I said you could go and get your stupid box. Just put it back when you're done, because I know what you're going to do. You're going to fling dust everywhere, and you're going to, like, dump it in my computer for good measure just because, <laughs> oh, here's a new wig. Let's spray the shit out of it, and fucking, your computer runs on glitter, right? Shut Here up. you go. Shut And up. then you're going to put shut each up. one of your fucking trinket things shut up. Shut all up. over shut fucking up. everywhere. Shut up. Shut up. You don't even know. You See? Even it's know. not logged in now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to leave the shit everywhere and you'll be like, oh, I'll clean it after the con. I'm really busy. I'll oh, clean no, it I later. Will. Uh, I will. still clean it up. And I can show the stream the cool that was shit two that years I have. Ago. So go get a fucking box. Go. I, go I, do it. They're so heavy. It's right. Oh, my God. They're really heavy. I have... Tiny, weak little girl arms. <laughs> Update the title. I'm working on it. And we'll go get it. your it fucking box. It up. It screwed it up. You've Wait, got your got stupid it. little area to go in. I swear to God, if I trip over any of that shit you in the morning won't. You for won't. that stupid you won't. anime con. You won't. You won't. <laughs> you won't. I don't know what chat's reactions are right now. You it's won't. all, what are they you saying? Won't. Someone get a box, please. I, for one, want to see the stuff. See? Oh, I'm playing Mario Kart Art. No, I, I would changed one at a time. I was like, okay, I'll change the title. See if that sticks. So that that's stuck. So that's good. So now we'll go in again. Of course, Angie can do and it. And now I'll change it. Two. Wait, wait, are you ready? Are you ready? God! Oh, no, wait. I have to cap something. No, it's gonna automatically pick the game. From a list of God games. God of War. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Where is he? Kratos, it's getting close. I told you, I cannot help you. But you're the only one who can. Oh. I know it. I I'm just said sorry, no, bitch. Guys. I refreshed the stream. Somebody said something about my San cosplay, and I saw San, and then I refreshed it, and now it's gone. And I'm sorry that I can't acknowledge what you said. If it was that it looks awesome, thank you. Because I'm insanely proud of that costume. And I can't wait for you guys to see, like, what it actually looks like, and not just, like, my shitty photo at, like, <laughs> 10 o'clock at night. Give the stream an exclusive, uh... Day before or whatever. Well, that's Saturday you're wearing it. God of fuck you in the ass. Yeah, I told you. Three. It's a pain in the everything. God, this is so annoying. I said, Angie, your sign cosplay was bad. bad. I have a big old honking princess. Oh, do you seriously, Metricos? That's awesome. Tweet it. Dude, you should tweet me a picture. I love sick tattoos. I would never, ever get one. But... Shut really up, cool. Harvey. Also, and Princess I'm Mononoke talking to is the shit. What the? No. Fuck off. Princess Mononoke is legit the bomb diggity. Can I, like, kill this thing? I want it to die. I wish I could watch that movie forever. Wait, no, I want to go down here. I should here. probably be watching it, like, tonight or tomorrow so that I remember. Is there, like, secrets down there? Do. I should be watching Sailor Moon right now, but I'm watching this motherfucker play. Oh my god! When I said, what do you want to do? All you did was bitch and be like, I don't know. See, I fixed it. You're so stupid. Oh you Do god. you even twitch? Oh my god. Let's get your box so you just shut up a little bit. Didn't want to reload the page, so I loaded the all games page, and God of War 3 is listed there. I don't know what you're talking about. I fixed it. Whatever. It's fine. It's <laughs> over. Now the dog is... So we're on to the next thing. <laughs> I guess I can't get a box now. God damn it! 
I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what is <laughs> like they know what I'm talking about, right? What the what is Sword Art Online? Somebody contacted me about. Oh, a it's some from anime. That. There's like a new anime every 12 minutes these days. Like, hey, I like this anime now. Oh, Rose, I love Castle in the Sky. Thank you. I was just talking with Claire about how more people need to show that movie love because, like, nobody watches. Them. Oh, sounds kind of dumb. You are dumb. You offend me. This is the only secret. Yes. I thought you ah! Ah, oh, no. Oh shit, those are the really, like, nasty guys, right? Everything's the really that nasty. That are just, like, fucking impossible or whatever? No, I think, I think you're they thinking of the so satyrs. so creepy. Oh, and now they go under- Ooh, Wow! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I don't like them at all. Is he- did he- oh. Weren't they- because I thought it was them in this game or the- or the second one. There was, like, one of the games where the guys that did this that just, like, came up out of- yeah, they're, 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 these they are like a stable like, character. Like threw shit at you and they were pain in the ass. What was that movie with the girl whose parents are turned into pigs? That is Spirited Away, Offbeat Kyle. That movie is awesome as well. Get up here so I can hit you! What the fuck? Is this the game now? They just hide like little bitches? Come here. I wasn't done murdering you. Oh, why? Oh, Rose, that's so cute. She says that she wore a crystal necklace every day for years so that she could be like the girl from Castle in the Sky. Whatever. Adorable. What is that? Is that even a thing? You know what? <laughs> awesome. I wore my hair with little pieces on the sides in a ponytail so that I could be like Mimi from Digimon. The, the annoying one who wore pink? Yep. <laughs> She was my favorite. I watched that show recently, and it was not that awesome. I, it's not that awesome. Like, it was fun and all, but... What's happening? Me. What What's are you happening? Doing? You're so cute. I'm talking You're to talking about anime. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I don't know about things. I don't know about modern anime. <laughs> yes! There's modern, like, mainstream anime. Like, Sword Art Online? What is that? I thought it was a video game. Apparently now it's an anime? I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. It's like every anime now is... I was used to them being, like, comics, like the manga, but now they're all video games, too. So I don't even know what's happening. Oh, son of a damn it. There's a, there's an arrow. Uh, no, 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 no. Awesome. Oh, you blew him up. Or you feel sorry for him. I didn't even try to get away. <laughs> MG Noise says to sing us more of the song of your people. Oh no, it wasn't my people, it was it was the it's the soundtrack. I, I sing video game soundtracks. See, in Latin. now it's just all confusing. Sword Art Online is an anime about a game. It's about a game. And then it got fucking weird in season two, and there was mild tentacle rape implications, and I just can't. Sweet! Dude, Sounds awesome! I love tentacle rape. You're so liberal with it. saying I, I think it's hysterical. I think it is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I just, like, only the fucking job. Aim at the fucking thing! Oh my fuck! Okay. I'll check it fucking later, okay? My phone is all the way over there. It's like ten steps away. That's forever. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do this shit every time. 
Fucking Kiki! Jeez, delivery serves so much. The feelings! Are you talking about... Never mind. No one's gonna know what the joke is. <laughs> Never mind. See, you don't, even, you don't even have an inkling of what it might be. You know what it makes me think of now? <laughs> Wait, my sister showed me this. It's very stupid for Kiki. Aim at anything I need you to be aiming at right now. Yes, okay. So it's this new Scissor Sisters song that somehow I didn't know about, even though I love the Scissor Sisters. I was really upset about it. Yeah, you do. My sister showed me this. Oh, God damn it. I want to skip to it now. showed me this because apparently it is like the song of the gay people now. Whoa! You can grab him from underground? Actually, being so close to Jimmy, it's really surprising that I didn't hear about this before. Let's have a kiki. But okay, all right. So like it starts out like this, this looks and pretty like stupid. this bitch is all like, oh blah, whatever. Okay, but then it goes all scissor sisters. Look. Are the Scissor Sisters Look at how girls? This is. Yes. I love it. I love it. What the fuck is happening? I, love it. I can't even handle it. <laughs> I fucking love the Scissor Sisters. You don't. I even don't know. even. I can't. No, they're having a kiki. Maybe Metricross tweeted me. They explain it later. It's like a party in the middle of the day, or like a really flamboyant party, like dance party or something. I don't even know. But like. This video is just the greatest thing that's ever happened. So now every time I think of Kiki's delivery service, I think of Kiki, which makes me think of this. And then I'm just like, let's have a Kiki. And put it in wonderful. the chat. It's just wonderful. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put the link. For for those of you that are listening to me talk about having a Kiki, here is the link. So now you can watch and understand what I think of <laughs> whenever I say Kiki. Whoa, what is happening? That is fucking awesome. Place again? I'm so confused. People are quoting that I love tentacle rape. It's not even, like, <laughs> I say that so often that I don't even know if it counts as a quote. Actually, I guess maybe it would be the most quote thing that I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every you do time say I, it a every lot. Every time I talk about anime, I end up saying how I love tentacle rape. I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> oh my god! No shame! <laughs> it's hysterical! I think that the rest of the world should be so, like, fucking open about shit. Their tentacle rape exists because it's they're fucking so prudes. Ridiculous. It's because Americans are fucking prudes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, let's stop being prudes for a then minute. Then there wouldn't be tentacle rape. I, it's, it's, yeah, it's 2014, okay? We don't have to be fucking prudes anymore. And we can enjoy tentacle rape. <laughs> Shut your face. You know what? I'm just gonna... Is this fucker not dead? Jeez. I'm just gonna stop. Let's have a key. <laughs> Metrica says I should put it on my business cards. <laughs> Children's parties cosplay tentacle rape. <laughs> I, really, I really need to stop talking about tentacles. You should. <laughs> you know what one of her favorite foods is, too, by the way? Fucking fried octopus. Oh, God, it really is. <laughs> Calamari is the shit, man. She has, like, this weird attraction to tentacles in, like, every form. <laughs> The Little Mermaid is my favorite. Disney when they movie. announced Squiggly for Skull Girl, she's like, "Ooh, Squiggly! He's <laughs> my favorite." Now. But surprisingly, I haven't seen that anime. What is it called? Squid Girl or whatever? People keep saying I need to watch oh, that. Oh yeah, I actually haven't seen anything about that. The HD Squid Girls or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I don't care. I Mr. wasn't. Cross agrees with me. Calamari is the jam. Yeah, when it's not raping you. Oh, God when you get damn to it, eat Rose. it, Rose, when you sorry. choose to put it in your know. mouth. 
don't oh, know if I, I can didn't want to do that. This question. She wants to know if Sailor Moon or Gem and the Holograms is better. And I just don't. Sailor don't Moon. Know. This well, is not even a contest. Season, the later seasons. Okay, if we're talking like overall, it's definitely Sailor Moon, because the later seasons are so good, so good. There's so much plot and like drama and like crazy awesome it's probably shit. Probably a secret. Ha ha! You see? But like, Everyone if we're talking racist, like the length that Jim ran. So Jim was like two seasons, three seasons. I haven't seen enough of them. And Jim. then like, but like the first two to three seasons of Sailor Moon were honestly like going back and rewatching them. They were a little boring. Okay, real talk, real talk. But that's Sailor the Moon. Though. No, the Sailor Moon is, is awesome. awesome because these chicks are hot to begin with. And then they say some stuff, and, they and their make. clothes come off. That's awesome. However, Jem can be wearing whatever clothes, just bam, just like snap her fingers. It's showtime, Serenity. Bam, I'm a fucking leather-clad hooker. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just whatever. You know what? You know what? Sailor Moon could do that too, okay? She had her little transformation compact thing, so she could put on disguises. So she could I get remember into that. She was supposed to get into. I remember that. Okay, well then, then, then there, Sailor Moon wins. I know my shit. Sailor Moon does kind of win. Yeah, Sailor Moon wins. Sailor Moon has Sailor Saturn. Sailor Saturn wins everything. Forever. Hey, what do we have? What do we have? They have Timber. Shut up, Timber. Timber's so dumb. Fucking whiny bitch. Fucking. And a bunch of orphan children who get shit. Oh, yeah. right. Who gives a shit? Chain of balance. All right, I actually have to wait. Are the controls reversed? I don't even know. I remember dying. Many... Oh, Squatoon. That's the squid whatever game with the girls who are like squids or something. I, I know nothing about the game. I was listening to E3 on my headphones at work, and I apparently missed that part. And even had I heard it, I wouldn't have even seen it, so... You know what, Alfie, Kyle? It's weird that your face is holograms. <laughs> oh, joy! Flying minigames! I really enjoy having you read the chat, by the way. It's really entertaining. But I could have a box. I told you I after you know, renamed the shit! The magnificent squid girls shooting ink everywhere. That is so... Oh wait, I'm still fucking going? I don't- I have to assume that Metricos meant that, like, sexually, because I read it really inappropriately. Atlas! But I don't know. Maybe- maybe he's being serious and it actually looks like fun because he likes squids and- Apparently it's- it's gonna be a hit. What is an FPS? First person shooter. First person shooter. Family friendly first person shooter. You don't even get to see their sexy squid bodies? Fuck that. I am so dumb. sick of these, like, oh, customize your character. Right. Buy a fucking hat That's for $25 so in a fucking first-person shooter. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I played Skyrim for 96 hours, and 94 of them was me customizing my character that I don't even get to fucking see. And yes, I know you can do that game third-person. Leave me alone. If it's a first-person shooter, there should be nothing to customize. Zero. Period. I was really confused when I found out that game, that Borderlands. Yeah. I was so confused when I found out that was first person. Yeah. Well, it's it's because it's all a hybrid. Everybody would talk about was like the costume and character designs, and then they were like, "Yeah, it's this great first person shooter game," and I'm like, "Then why does it fucking matter what they look like?" No, I I agree completely. I'm so sick of hearing that. And and people pay money for like customizable shit. That they can put on their character. Like, whoa, whoa, she's naked now or something. Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're what's wrong with video games right now. You're the reason DLC oh, okay, exists. okay, there we go. Here's Metricos says he was being serious. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm okay with it being both as well, to be fair. It says they're adorable girls and boys who run around and shoot ink with guns and turn into squids to swim through their ink. <laughs> what? That's literally the entire premise of the game. That's awesome. That does actually sound like a lot of fun. I would play that. Kratos, why didn't you just stay in the- Also, fucking Skullgirls is awesome. Let's just put that out there for a second. You know 
what else is awesome and way better than every other fighting game ever? Uh, wait, no, I know that Dark Dark You know what I'm gonna say? Fucking Dark Stalkers. Original copy of PS1, bitch. She knows God, each I love that game. Japanese artist who animated every single. Everything. I don't know what the fuck that much. What the you? But I do know a lot about that game because I watched the anime. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You've seen the anime. Okay, you've memorized the, the manga games. and video games and sing all the songs in Japanese and you just fucking Rose agrees with you she says the DLC is the devil's spawn of video games yeah and it's all this first person shooter shit when when all those hats came out for uh, Team Fortress everyone lost their fucking minds oh, I'm wearing a hat I can't see it but uh, oh. where the oh I couldn't see them oh let's see these squid girls that you won't even see because it's a first person shooter Taking ten years. I see some hair. <laughs> yeah, I saw some hair. Wait, is that? Oh no, it's not hair. It's like hair tentacles. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them in their little like bathing suit, bike short outfits. I can't even. You should cosplay them and uh, put put like invisible ink in the gun. Remember that? Remember that shit? That like disappearing yes. ink. Shit. Yay! Something. What is this? Right, that's kind of cute. Whatever. Everyone's like, they're adorable! Oh, here we are. She's pretty cute. I don't know that it's the cutest thing I've ever seen, but she's pretty cute. This transformation thing that's happening is kind of horrifying, I'm gonna <laughs> be totally honest. That's not adorable. Like, this this thing in the middle, that is creepy. That looks kind of like it's her ass right there. <laughs> it does look like butt cheeks, And then, like, it? see, because, like, then the leg goes down here. She's, like, in mid-transformation. Like, Animorphs. Like an Animorphs cover. I don't know. It's, it's weirding me out a little bit. That part. But I do, I enjoy this concept of the, of the, like, tentacle hair. Probably goes back to my obsession with Medusa. I just love hair that is things that it is not actually. <laughs> love hair that's not hair. <laughs> Sean, you're so dumb. It's a third-person shooter. You see the character over their shoulder. Well, who the f- you were all telling me it's the FPS and shit! I don't they're know! Just comparing it. I'm just- oh, they're comparing- well, don't fucking lead me down the wrong path and then slap my wrist for going that way, shit. No things. I'm concentrating. I'm Kratos. I don't have time for your like logic and just, just kill the thing. I don't know. Oh, it says the trailer was See, you know what the fuck they're talking about. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Yeah, no. If DLC is like, here's like another several hours of gameplay, that's awesome. If it's like, oh, hey, like, fucking, you have like a blue gun now, that's cool. That, that's, that's just stupid. Don't even get me started on first day, like, pre order DLC. Oh, come here, and then you get all the weapons in the game. You don't even have to earn them. All the fun is taken out of the game now because you didn't have to unlock anything. Just buy it all. Level 50. Where am I going? I feel like I remember this. Is this the part with all the little boxes kind of like moving around? Yep, there we go. <laughs> that thing that just happened? Yeah, no. Aww. This is the labyrinth. Lord. This is... This the labyrinth. So I can from, tell the story from now. From Greek myth. And it's so stupid. You just hit the switch, fight enemies, go to the place. I was so fucking pumped to have to actually go through. Like, no. I've been waiting to bitch about this part of the game since, like, God of War 1. The, the mazes and the puzzles in the first two games were so ingenious and amazing. And that was just what they pulled out of their ass. Like, oh, we just made this new IP. Let's, let's have some cool puzzles. I don't know. Let's see what happens. 
and then they actually pull from Greek myth. The labyrinth, the reason, like, mazes in coloring books and shit are so fucking popular. Like, the thing that defined confusion. See, there's minotaurs now. Like, the... The fucking reason labyrinths are a thing. And all it is is some boxes and you fight some enemies. And I am so pissed. Oh, you got Can me. Can I tell the story now? I was bitching, okay? I realize that you're bitching and you're very angry and <sighs> upset. As were the people in the story related to the labyrinth. Tell me about it. What the fuck? I activated the rage. Okay, okay, okay. So I've been waiting to tell you guys this story because I love it because it is so fucked up. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. People are talking about shit. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. I don't know anybody's names in this story. I just know what happens. So deal with it. So apparently. Killicles. Shut up! And Deficus. Okay, so. There's this bitch, and she was like cursed or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I mean, everybody in, in ancient Greece was cursed. Okay, so she, uh. I want to say she was like a sorceress or something like that, because there's some relation in the story where like her husband was like cheating on her, like mad crazy. And she was just, like, so pissed off about it that she cursed her husband so that every time he spewed his load, it was, like, centipedes and spiders and, like... Oh, yeah, you were reading that And, like, time. snakes and bugs and shit. Wasn't that the guy who fucked a cloud? I don't know. No. No, that was a different guy. Okay. <laughs> no, she, like, cursed her husband so that every time he cheated on her, he would, like, finish and then, like, spew bugs all over the chick. So the women would run screaming through the castle with, like, bugs on them and stuff. It was really gross. Uh, but the major part of the story... That's so one the reason gods, not to pull out. For tits and jiggles. Oh, that's so gross! Like, oh, that makes my tummy hurt. <laughs> like that. Oh, Empty Noise just mentioned Jareth the Labyrinth. I have a lot oh, of feelings. Fuck. God. Okay, alright, no. This story is really important! Okay. Oh, Angie screamed, for, by the way. Shut up. Sorry. For tits and jiggles, the gods were like, guys, I'm really bored right now. So Zeus was like, guys, guys, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna fuck with this chick. I'm gonna fuck with this chick. Like, her husband is cheating on her right now, and her life is horrible. I'm gonna make her life even worse. Wait, wait. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So he goes down and, like, whispers in her ear, and he's like, hey, hey, Greek lady bitch. That bull is looking really sexy, isn't it? Isn't, isn't that bull looking like super fine? Oh like shit! Like a bull, like a like a literal bull. Like this isn't like a allegory, like a bull. He's yeah, like, like he, he. That bull is looking major fine, right? And she's like, oh, I mean, I don't know. And he's like, no, I mean, like, if I had a badge, I would totally let that bull fuck me. If you were a sheep, and there was and she's like, sheep. really? And Zeus is like, no, like seriously. I would totally fuck that bull. I think that you should fuck that Am bull. Am I way back here? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, all right, you should do it. So she goes to, what's his face? Who is the like palace inventor or architect or whatever. And she's like, dude, I just have this like mad craving to fuck that bull. So you need to build me a cow that I can get inside of so that I can trick the bull into making mad sexy bull love with me. And the guy's like, whatever. <laughs> so he makes this cow form and she gets inside of it and totally fucking has sex with a bull. She has sex with a literal bull. I'm not exaggerating here. It's not an allegory. Not like, oh, that was some ugly dude. A bull inside of a cow form has sex with the bull. Has a baby. How? Nobody knows. She has a baby. And it's the Minotaur, the very first Minotaur ever. And she's like, shit, what the fuck is this thing? And her husband is like, get it the fuck out of here. So her husband goes to the architect and is like, dude, you gotta hide this shit away because like, seriously, I can't look at it, it's offensive. So the guy builds a labyrinth 
and yeah, hides hide the it. Minotaur away in the labyrinth it was so that Daedalus, nobody will it? ever find it. Yeah. 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 And he hides the wounded Minotaur away so that nobody will ever find the Minotaur. So that nobody has to look at its nasty fucking Minotaur douchey face. And then I think that has something to do with why Minotaurs are like... There's only... Like, I don't know if you guys know this part of Minotaur myth, but, like, there's only male Minotaurs. There are no females. And that's why, according to Greek mythology, like, all they do is rape chicks. Like, that is what they exist for. Is they just wander around, and they see bitches bathing, and they're like, Fuck, I need that ass! And then they tear it up. Nine times out of ten, kill the person. And then just like go along their merry way because they're minotaurs, and why not? Okay, wait, so now I need what are what are we doing? Bye! Wait, wait. Don't block everything! Dick fart. I don't, I don't know what that is. Really? You're just gonna <laughs> block every single one of my attacks? Once again, a Greek story mostly caused by Zeus being a douche. Yup, that's like 99% of it. Straight male, 35 years old, looking for attractive lady friend to spend time with. Stipulation, I come spiders and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, empty noise. The gods are totally oh, hitting me when they're bored. And that's kind of the whole point of Greek mythology is that like yeah, unlike get the fuck out. most other religious like myths and legends and things, the deities are supposed to be like all powerful and perfect and like yeah. the perfect example of what you're supposed to that's be. That's what I like about Greek. The myth Greek too. gods were meant to be examples of what not to do. Well, they, they, they thought the, the gods were just, like, them. They thought yeah. they could just, like, they, like, they yeah, thought exactly. they could, like, find Mount Olympus and just, like, go up there. They were exactly. just people. So they were subject to exactly. the flaws of that The gods idiots. were very human. And it's, it's part of why I find Greek mythology so fascinating. Because they just, like... Yeah, it's like if one of us just woke up with superpowers tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. And Zeus in particular, like, he was the king of the gods. He could literally do whatever he wanted. Because he was the king. Yeah, so, like, who's gonna question him? Because he, like, he wasn't, like, born a god. Titan was his dad. He just kind of got pissed one day and just decided I'm powerful Yeah, and he now. just, like, took over. That's a whole other one. I love that story. Yeah him and his siblings, how Kronos ate yeah, and he cut, all of his he siblings. Yeah, and he cut him open to, like, free him all. And his mother hid him away. Yeah, and, and if like, you... And, like, told him what was gonna happen. If you so read... So that when he was eaten, he could cut himself out and save all of his siblings. If you read other cultures of the time, you'll find that they have an extremely similar story of someone who, like, held all the water of life inside of him or something, so the guy went inside and cut open his belly and, like, all the life spilled out or whatever. It's, it's, it's fascinating if you line up all the stories of the cultures and shit. It's cool. Rather, they just attacked the chain. Kronos <laughs> was a dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Oppy Kyle. Let's let's clear that right up. She was not raped by that bull. Hey. She went out of her way to encourage that bull to fuck her. <laughs> there was there was yeah, she no built a rape. whole like machine. Hundred percent on her. She wanted that shit. Mostly the god's fault. But she did it. Not rape. Just clarify. <laughs> I'm enjoying reading Metricos's. Like, <laughs> breakdown of everything for yeah. us. 
she was basically that chick at parties who does 14 Jaeger bombs and then hangs a rando, then regrets it later. Yeah. <laughs> Except the rando was literally a bull. <laughs> and she was super into it. <laughs> No, no, I just I was gonna say, um, who's the one? Bacchus. Who, who's the, the equivalent of Bacchus? That wine drinking asshole who just gallivants around and, with the grapes on his oh, head. Oh, oh, um, um. Disdain makes more sense. I was gonna say whoever this guy is. Why I'm completely blanking on Yeah, right? right? I can't. Now. Grapes on his head. I know the one you're the god of, like, parties. Yeah. I'm not really, like, the party king guy, though. I just don't give a shit. God of disdain? Was there a god for that? Dionysus. Dionysus, that's Thank it. you, Metricots. That's what I was gonna say, but it's not appropriate. Dionysus. I could fill that role, He's in I'm Fantasia. Sure. Yeah. In my favorite part. And he's always, he's spilled, like, 36 gallons out of that one little cup. Yes. <laughs> I love that he's all like a little short and fat and drunk and he's just like and there's centaurs everywhere yeah. and I'm just like There's a really funny uh, comic from the Perry Bible Fellowship where it's, it's two uh, dudes looking at a horse's ass and they're like, oh man, that is a fine piece of ass. I would hit that so hard. And this friend goes, dude, that is disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with you? And it zooms out and it turns out they're centaurs and the fine piece of ass was a girl centaur. And they go, dude, she's like 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Twisted. Seth says I would be the goddess of cosplay. <laughs> I feel like it'd be more like oh, I don't even vanity. Know. <laughs> don't get out of here. God, I'm getting what I want. Not vanity, but like there's there's got to be some sort of something where it's like, I, you know, you like. Yeah, I, would, I feel like I would be like the goddess of some like like, like, like disguises. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what masquerade. I mean? like, I, I, I meant not, that to mean like not necessarily like, like costumes, but yeah. like like yeah, to, of of like changing appearances. Yeah. yeah, there's something. There's something for that. Disguise. There's a god for everything. A god for not figuring out what god you might be. I'm the god of that. And if there's not a god, there's a patron saint of it. Oh, ho, ho, that's one way to do it. I remember learning about the patron saint of headaches in uh, my Catholic high school days. Doji says we need puppy cam. Is the cam even up? He's over, oh, he was right here. He's somewhere. The dog was right next to me. Pooper, where'd you go? <gasps> Hello, little angel. Hello, little angel. Hello, angel. He just runs back to the chain. Dude, Kratos, run around fucker. Oh, it's different. Are you just gonna what the hell just happened? Boosh. Oh, it's because it's. You boosh. Why? Boosh. 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 There you go, Pooper. Now everybody can see you. Lick me up here. 
so it doesn't look inappropriate, okay? <laughs> yeah. The smiling muffin? Cam. Yeah, I know, there's like a little cupcake well, thing. Man vs. Game has a kitty cam. Well, we would gladly have a puppy cam if there was any chance of our dog, like, staying where he's supposed to be. Also, yeah, no, this dog's a piece. second camera. <laughs> dog's a little bitch. He never sits still. Secretly want to order Eternal Sonata for PS3. What is that? Oh, yeah, no, we played the demo to that. Yeah, it seemed kind of cool. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I don't know what things are, guys. I really don't. Dog! Well, they might be looking for, like, acknowledgement from the rest of the chat, too. Are you just gonna lick everything? Well, you know what? It's not all about you, Maybe man. I forgot that there's eight other people in here. Right? I command Everybody's quite the viewership. Everybody's asking what happened to looking through my boxes. You didn't go get a fucking box is what happened. I thought you were gonna get it. Cause it's oh, yeah, I'm gonna go fucking do that That's for you. That's what you said. Well, let's go. Let's go right now. You gonna go? You're fighting the thing. Go get the garage door open. You were a muppet. What muppet would you be? I would not be a muppet. Why? I don't care about the muppets anymore. Well, what if you were a muppet? You don't really. I'd have probably a be choice. one of the humans in the Muppet world. That's the muppet I'd be. The Muppet who's a human with the Muppets. No. I feel like you'd be like Gonzo. I, I, I could see you being Gonzo. You'd be you'd be like Gonzo or um You're like, hey, can I try this thing that's like wildly inappropriate and dangerous and stupid? Yeah. Okay. Or the rat. I feel like you would be the rat. Rizzo? Rizzo. I hate Rizzo so much. I know, but I think you hate him because he's so much like you. How is he like me? Because he's, just he's really brown? Like, no. What did you... No, because he's just really like... What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like cynical. Is he? I guess, I guess he's cynical. For a Muppet, he's yeah, not he's like... he's so cynical. He's like kid-friendly cynical. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I... I just, I, yeah, no, see, I, I could see it. If I had to, like, translate my personality into, like, Muppetism, maybe. But, like, as it stands right now, I don't think I'm exactly like it. Well, nobody's exactly like a Muppet. Well, somebody Muppet. is. And once again, I got the farthest on my first try. <laughs> I love Beaker. Beaker makes me happy. My favorite Muppet's always changing. <laughs> when I was in high school, it was like hardcore animal. I was like, no, yeah. no other Muppets matter. Everything should just be animal all the time. And then when the last movie came out, it was Kermit again. Tina Fey was my favorite Muppet. Tina Fey was the best Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> I will agree with that. I feel like if somebody asked me what character from the Muppet movies would you be, yeah. I probably would be like Tina Fey. Yeah. Because that would be my character. I would be yeah. the one with a ridiculous accent who just fangirls secretly over the Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> and bursts out into song randomly. <laughs> and is friends with Danny Trejo. And is friends with Danny Trejo. Because we're totally friends with Danny we're Trejo. We're totally friends with Danny Trejo. I wonder if he would recognize us if we he's ever He's fucking, he's probably so high right That's now. That's true. The dude doesn't even remember what movies he's in. This is true. He might recognize the dog. He'd probably recognize the dog. <laughs> probably would have no idea that we were even there. That really was the best day. Alright, now, now that we got rid of these asshole archers. I 
And that chain is like fucking just dead. Why can't I just go up there? Ugh. <laughs> I always forget about Crazy Harry. I like that you brought that up, Empty Noise. <laughs> Way to bring up the random character. Jeez, no. My dad's favorite was Sam Eagle. Sam Eagle. Dad loved being for Sam Eagle. Rose, you did not go to a keg party with Tina Fey. We're not friends anymore. I'm not friends with Rose anymore. Hanging out with fucking Tina Fey. Telling me she's short. I bet she's short like me. You just want to be her. I <laughs> just love her so much. Can we watch 30 Rock again? Yes. Right now? Let's get Netflix. No, not right now. Right this second. Okay, All of thank it. Thank you. Okay. I knew you'd understand. So what happens? Are you supposed to break that thing? No, they're trying to. Fuck okay, me up. so they're trying to knock you off. Yeah. Or like break it so it falls or yeah. Circle this time. I got my health. See now it's gotta raise up. What? Oh, okay. Now that I'm out of magic, shit. Boy, they like super. See, is what I'm talking about. Has there been a anything labyrinthian about this yet? They're just fucking squares and enemies. Yeah, this is. And then you go inside them, and then there's just more enemies. This is really dumb. Now I'm back. What the fuck, shit? Dick balls. Fart stick. This is the labyrinth. This is the great labyrinth of mythos. Georgie wants cute. us to stream watching 30 Rock. No, it's that HDCP bullshit. Specifically, like, Netflix has a different, like, yes! digital signal. Yes! Sattler and Waldorf! Yeah. They're the best. They're, that's probably... That's I'd, probably... You that's would be me. both of them. Yeah, I would be both of them. <laughs> One of them can't handle me. I, 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 the super concentrated Muppet. That's me. I can never remember their fucking names, so. though. Kyle says he met the funny black guy from 30. <laughs> Tracy Morgan? <laughs> he was in a car accident. It was like a six car pileup. Now, what did he. Wait, is it Tracy. Tracy Morgan is Morgan his name. Morgan is his real name. Tracy Jordan. But Tracy the Jordan character. is the character. Yeah. Name. Okay. See, that screws me up all the time. I just, I just always call him the same. <laughs> They took a picture of me and said I was walking out of a Starbucks, but really I was walking, I was moonwalking into a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking funny. I'm Liz Lemon, Blarg. Fucking co-host lady. Fucking blonde chick. Jenna? Jenna. Jenna Maroney. Fuck, she's just <laughs> On <hysterical>. camera. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an actress. <laughs> well, clearly my problem here is I'm taking the wrong turn in the labyrinth. <laughs> it's just an enemy rush. It's so stupid. Seth says that we would be young Statler and Waldorf. Young step. The Rurger. 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 Did that hurt her? That woman who plays like 18 yes. characters? She literally plays like 18 characters. What the fuck? 
I just love that that entire episode was them trying to figure yeah. out like what the title was. They're like, oh yes, your movie. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? Oh, that is such a good way to do oh, that. Dying. And they made like a sequel to it. I, I, I can't. Remember. Yes. It was a Broadway show. Yeah, but th but there was like a there was like another title to it. There was like an equally like vowel heavy title. I feel like it was the name of the Broadway show though. So yeah. They like made a musical because she sang the song at one point. Yeah. Some, some oh, Roger! <laughs> right? Something like that. Fucking Kenneth. Oh my god. I could talk about Thirty Rock all day. <laughs> Muffin Top song. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna pull that up on YouTube Sweet right now. Sweet fat low fat. Wait, wait. I, yeah, I want a piece of that. But wait, I just want to dance. That one, right? That one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. No, the best part was Weird Al. <laughs> the best part was the Weird Al theme song. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking Go online and invent your rage on your Twitter or Facebook page. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was so good. Hey now, cause three racks over. Oh, I used to know that song. Stop okay, targeting okay. these assholes. No. Them. That one. The ones shooting at you from way the fuck over there. Yeah, oh yeah, the Minotaur. Yeah, thanks. But I'm just I fucking got. Shoot the arm! Oh! Okay, wait, so it starts at 54 seconds. Okay, okay, alright, alright, wait. Share this with people who haven't seen 30 Rock and need to understand why they need to watch 30 Rock. This there you guys go. There you go. There you go. 54 seconds is the best part. And I was concentrating on the archers. <laughs> Jenna Maroney at is least, the best thing. At least in Maybe. fucking Super Mario RPG, there was like a fucking maze. The forest maze was a maze, not forest get butt raped by enemies the whole time. There was you know a labyrinth was, quality all, to it. I have a lot of hateful feels towards how I met your mother, so I'm not even gonna elaborate on that. Yeah, that show kind of Second of all, there is not a single show that ends on a good note. That 70s show and 30 Rock, I think, are the only two shows that I've ever seen that, like, I felt satisfied by that 30 Rock finale. had one of the best finales It was perfect. Ever. This, Ever. It was perfect. It was so good. Literally every other show that I've ever watched has a horrible series finale because they're oh, trying to trick. Yeah, that's true. I didn't see. Yeah, that you one. didn't see. But Actually, yeah. the Friends series finale was pretty good. It gave everybody what they wanted. You know, like whatever. Yeah, way just, back it was over. when TV just pandered to you so hard yeah, before this formula no, was... today, where it's just like, ah, oh, fuck you, fuck what you want. Eighteen more mid-season breaks. Suck no. all our dicks. The thing is, nowadays, like, when a show gets the news that they're getting canceled, it's not actually, like, confirmation that they're getting canceled. Like, if Farscape their last season does really well, they could get picked up again. Or shows like yeah. Farscape or Sanctuary that, like, literally every single season, they're like, this could be your last one, you don't know. They but Farscape had balls, though. Oh, they were yeah. just like, yeah, we're getting canceled, fuck, fuck you. Farscape. <laughs> Farscape was like, you want to cancel us? Watch what our fucking fans are going to do when we end it like this. <laughs> and the studio was like, I don't care, you're canceled. And literally everyone who ever watched Farscape was like, what? <laughs> no. And then just cried in a corner forever because it is the worst series finale ever. Nobody can fucking argue with me. Watch Farscape. Understand. Worst series finale ever. The show is so good. And it ends on a cliffhanger. They're like, ha ha! See what happens next season. JK, we're actually canceled. Yeah. No, that was, that was bad. 
Like, even the characters in the show, the actors, were like, the, the, it just, they, they were, wow. If it's not one thing, it's another. Oh, see, now uh, they're talking about this fucking Rose, shit. Rose, we're best friends again. Because of what she just... Yeah. <laughs> no, I... Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Because, yeah, I don't even... I'm not even going to get into that Yeah, right we now. don't know. They know They know what they said. We don't have to say <laughs> they it. They know. We don't you have to... know. <laughs> wow. Fucking Farscape is the best show. Yeah, it's the best show. God! Let's watch that again. I need to and save And then I'll just be Chiana for... No, B Sukozu. She's the hot one. No, Chiana's the hot one. Sukozu is totally Chiana the hot one. Chiana is the hot one. Whatever. You're so stupid. Mostly Chiana. Mostly because I can remember her name finally. Sukozu and the one that kind of looks like Sukozu. Shiana and Dargo feels Jewel. Jewel, yeah. Sukozu's hot. Sukozu is way hotter than Jewel. He's so much hotter. Sukozu is really hot. I'm not denying this. <laughs> Sukozu is crazy hot. I think Shiana's hotter. Shiana's but that's my slut. personal preference. <laughs> Shiana's a slut. She's kind of a little bit of a slut. She's kind of a lot of a slut, actually. That is an under-exaggeration. She's a major slut. Hands down, SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, yeah. Oh no, wait! I thought it was like a like a way of saying. Oh yeah, no, SpongeBob SquarePants is not the best show ever. No, but like, if that's just like born? a statement, like, 2005. Awesome. Like, Wasn't that woman who voiced that girl with the rabbit ear hat? What? <laughs> rabbit. Something from Bob's Burgers. I don't even know. Oh no, that was um, Mel from uh, Flight of the Concords. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Empty noise. Empty noise. So, you brought up a wonderful thing here that I'm really glad that you mentioned because Stargate is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Next to Farscape. Stargate is the shit. So, Empty Noise just brought up how Ben Browder and Claudia Black joined the Stargate SG-1 team, which was, like, the highlight of my life because Farscape had been canceled for, like, ever and I thought I was never, ever going to get it back. And then the two main characters were on the show about like space travel and they were kind of like similar to their old characters but they were different characters and it was really weird for me because i was like all right so you're aaron creighton but like you're not and you're not in love with each other and this is really bothering me a lot but also i love this show so whatever i'll just like deal with it do you remember this is the most important thing that i'm ever going to talk about on your stream by the way do you remember the 200th I know what you're episode talk about. shut up <laughs> do you remember the 200th episode of stargate sg1 the guy who like found out that he was an alien or like was abducted or something or other is doing a tv show based on stargate that's like kind of like a parody or whatever and he comes to them and he's like we're making a movie and we don't know what to make it about and Oh no! Blah, blah, blah. What do I do? Ah. So they are talking to him about like past things, and it's like kind of a clip show. But then fucking oh, here it is. whatever Claudia Black's character's name was—I don't remember what her character's name was—she keeps coming in and like giving him plot lines from like big movies. So it's like uh, she gives him the plot of like the Wizard of Oz, and I don't, I don't remember any of the other ones. That's the big one that I remember because the highlight of that fucking episode yeah, whatever was when she it. comes in and gives him the plot for Farscape only she and Ben are playing different characters so like <laughs> I want to say she's Chiana and he's um I think he was a uh, what's his name the mask I fucking freak out <laughs> soul but like guy. they were playing different characters than they yeah, did there was an on the of show Farscape where they did that whatever <laughs> and then they come back and the guy's like yeah, no, I've never heard of that one. That was good. I lost my fucking shit. You don't even understand how many like times I watched that segment of that episode. 
I must have watched it on repeat like 50 times that day. I didn't even finish the episode. I couldn't finish the episode. I was so excited that that had just happened that they finally like acknowledged it. And then the show just like continued like nothing had ever happened. And I was like, I don't even... Stargate SG-1 is like the best show ever. If you have not watched it, you hell. fucking suck. It is so good. Bad kids go to hell. Bad kids go yes. to hell. And Ben Browder is the only person that hasn't signed my freaking book. I need to meet him. Bala, thank you. Oh, me and Empty Noise, we're having a moment right here. Wait, wait that's the dude's name? We're having a moment. No, Claudia Black's character oh, on okay. SG-1 is Bala. I never know any of their names. They always say them real quick in passing. Like Sukozu. Like, I, I don't know. And then Sukozu looked exactly like Joel, yeah. so it was like super confusing. Empty Noise is talking about how Chiana is fucking hot. Like, yeah, she's a slut, but Gigi Edgley is like the hottest shit ever. I've, I've only seen her out of makeup once, and I was just like, I don't know, I expected her to, I'm not saying she's ugly, I just, I expected her to be hotter, because I've known her as Chiana my whole life. And then I saw her out of makeup, and I was just, I was confused. Yeah, she looks completely different yeah. out of makeup. It's so disorienting. I'd, I'd have to see her for more than, like, half a second. And then freaking David just, like, walked right up to her. Yeah. Freaking WonderCon. He's like, oh, yeah, and then I was, like, hanging out with Gigi Edgley. And I'm like, she was here? Oh, I was so pissed. Of all the people that I could meet from that show, she's the one that I would yeah. just, like, I would give anything to meet Gigi Edgley. The reason that I didn't go to Farscape Con the like couple years that it was still running yeah. was because Gigi wasn't gonna be there. Yeah, and I was but like, well, I want to meet Gigi. Well, because she's doing um the Jim Henson creature. Yeah, but she wasn't show three years ago. Right? Yeah, but like she's oh, promoting you're saying her that's new why show right there. now. Exactly. Okay. Like I don't think she really talks about like Farscape stuff very much. I think she was kind of trying to like separate herself from that and be considered a serious actress. Okay. <laughs> right, which like is ridiculous because Shiana's the shit. Shut up. 